News. Tonight's big story. It has been four months since the tragedy at the Azana Salon and Spa in Brookfield. And tomorrow, the end of yet another chapter. That's when police are going to release their final report. Fox 6's Jenna Sachs is live in Brookfield to explain why the victims are bracing for what's in it. Jenna. And we're told some of the Azana employees who were here the day of the shooting have formed a sort of support group since, and recently they've been calling each other to prepare for this report's release tomorrow. It's something that we're always going to live with, and it's something we really want to move past. Sarah was an employee at the Azana Salon and Spa working upstairs the day in October that Radcliffe Houghton came in and opened fire. Houghton killed his wife and two others and wounded four before shooting himself. Many a nights we've lost sleep. We, you know, have so much anxiety. We can't go places. We can't do the normal things that we used to do. Police have warned Sarah and other Azana employees that they will release their final report on the shooting Friday. That report includes nine discs of information along with 911 calls from the scene. Every time the situation is brought up, it sets us back mentally. It, it doesn't help us at all. Sarah hopes as details of that day become public, there will also be privacy for victims so they can continue to heal. Post-traumatic stress is not something that you can turn on and off. It comes and goes. It's not just the memory and the distress, but it's a, it's a full body physiological anxiety response. Paul Gasser is an assistant professor of biomedical sciences at Marquette. He says it's understandable that survivors of the shooting are experiencing anxiety, even PTSD. This is a real disorder. It's not something that involves a weakness um, in an individual. We have to get used to our new, new normal and we have to get to a point where we're able to get through things. And we're told not all the employees who were at the salon that day have since returned to work there. Some have found work elsewhere, and some have yet to return to work at all. Reporting live in Brookfield, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Well, it's easy to see why after all they've been through. Jenna, thank you for that. A horrifying scene unfolds right in front of two Milwaukee police officers. A man opened fire on a crowd with some serious firepower. Our Brandon Cruz was there shortly after the shooting. He is live now with some new information for us. Brandon.